Here is a model of a right foot and ankle. This is the lower part of your shin or your tibia, and it forms the bigger bump on the inside of your ankle. This is the lower part of your fibula, and it forms the bump on the outside of your ankle. If you look at your foot from the outside, there's a number of ligaments that attach the lower part of your fibula to your foot in the front, side, and back. These are the ligaments that you will tend to sprain if you go over on your ankle. Spraining your ankle can significantly affect the mobility of the major hinge joint that allows your foot to flex and extend. Your tibia and fibula sit on top of a rounded bone called your talus. This joint needs to be able to glide smoothly in order for your ankle to work properly. Scar tissue on the outside of your ankle from the ligament sprain as well as muscle tension from your calf end up screwing up the mechanics of your ankle joint. What ends up happening is your talus ends up being driven forward and when you try to lift your foot up the talus doesn't glide smoothly under your tibia and fibula and can end up creating a pinching in the front of the ankle. A ligament is a tough piece of tissue that connects one bone to another to help stabilize a joint. Damaging a ligament is referred to as a sprain, whereas damaging a muscle or tendon is referred to as a strain. Ankle sprains are classified as grade 1, 2, or 3. Grade 1 implies minor damage, maybe a slight fraying of the rope-like tissue. Grade 2 implies moderate damage or a partial tear of the tissue. Finally, grade 3 represents a full thickness rupture of the ligament. Your body has the capacity to heal partially torn ligaments. It usually takes about 4-6 to six weeks to complete the job. Ligaments are made up of a number of fibers that run parallel to the line of pull they are used for, just like in a rope. If you pull on either end of a rope, it is strong. When you tear a portion of a ligament, it will create an inflammatory reaction in your body that causes the joint to swell, bruise, and become painful. This is an important first step in the healing process because there are a number of chemicals and proteins in the swelling that help lay down scar tissue and fill in the hole. A lot of the pain and swelling of the initial injury will subside in the first one to two weeks and you can likely use the joint again, but this is what I call the cotton ball stage. The scar tissue has filled in the hole, but the tissue is more like a cotton ball than a rope. If you pull on either end of a cotton ball, it is easy to re-tear it. Over the following three weeks, as you use the joint, the body will slowly remodel the tissue back to resembling a strong rope. Understanding this principle is important in preventing re-injury, because many people resume full activity when the pain subsides, but they aren't quite out of the cotton ball stage yet. Ligament healing time is only one factor to the rehabilitation of your ankle. Many people experience ankle pain and dysfunction for far longer than the four to six weeks it takes the ligaments to heal. When you go over on your ankle, you also stretch the heck out of the muscles on the side and front of your shin. They won't hurt as much initially because they are a naturally stretchy tissue, but what can happen is the muscles in your calf will reactively knot up from the trauma of the strain and can stay that way indefinitely. When these muscles are banded up, the mobility and stability of your ankle will be quite poor. A key part to properly restoring ankle function after a big sprain is addressing this muscle tension before attempting a lot of stretching and strengthening exercises in your calf and foot. IMS acupuncture, although not the most comfortable treatment in the world, is by far the most effective at restoring normal muscle tension. Here we are looking at the front of your shin. This is the prominent ridge of bone you will feel. Beside that there's a muscle called your tibialis anterior. It acts to pull your foot up. Beside that you have your toe extensors. This acts to pull your toes up. And beside that you have your peroneals, which acts to pull the outside of your foot up. All of these muscles can be significantly strained during an ankle sprain. This is a diagram of a joint under normal conditions. 
the muscle has a moderate amount of resting tone and acts strongly to move or stabilize the joint when required. Here you see a diagram of what the muscles on the side of your shin can look like after an ankle sprain. The muscles have reactively knotted up and will act functionally weak. They can also create a tendonitis around the ankle as you attempt to use it more. Restoring this muscle tension back to its normal state will help eliminate pain and strengthen the joint. IMS acupuncture is the best way to accomplish this. Please watch the videos titled Why Things Hurt and What is IMS Acupuncture for more detail.